Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Disco Elysium. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Having a nice, lovely time with Kim. Look at us over there on the swing set, uh, looking at my sinking car. Uh, although my character is having trouble realizing that it is his sinking car. Uh, Kim knows. Kim has known. That is a wreckage, alright. Uh, so... I can't say... <laughs> I can't say. Oh god, no. Oh god, no is the correct answer. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry, says Kim. Which is a... V That is such a beautiful... That is such a beautiful thing to say. I don't... I, like, he knows that I have memory loss. We've told him, uh, and also he would guess anyway. Uh, there's no... I mean, I suppose there can be a way to play this game in a way that it would be unreasonable to think Kim would know that we have memory loss. Although, you know, in most ways, you, Kim would know. Um, but... Um, But for him to be sorry... He needs... he, For him to be sorry, he needs to understand the process. He needs to be like... He's aware of what it is to realize who you were. So he's having the same experience as us players are having, playing our character. Um... And it works doubly well. That line, wor it, it, it's made even better by the fact that I just said that our character is slow on the take-up. Although I said it last episode. But anyway, by the fact that we could see this coming. And it's, it's actually a, lo a lot easier than I made it seem to see it coming because I'm also slow on the take-up. But So you probably saw it coming before I did. But um, uh, but even if, you, even if you didn't, it's still you still have to choose that line. So, like, you choose that line if you see it coming, and you see it coming before your player actually says it, you, or before your character actually says it. So we're in the same situation as Kim. And by Kim's, uh, you know, because we're observing our character uh, realizing who he was or what happened to him before. Um, so when, he, when Kim says, I'm sorry, he's actively invoking sorrow, which is to be sorry for, uh, in us as players. And also... It's working as empathetic, and it's showing him specifically as an empathetic person who's seeing not the wreckage, but rather the realization. And the wreckage is just... It's also metaphorical. It's its also metaphorical. <sighs> is this the best part of the game so far? This is the best part of the game so far. This line over here is the best part of the game. <laughs> this is the best part of the game. This is this is so far the climax. This is like the pinnacle right now. 41, says our Inland Empire. Precinct 41. A massive pit opens up in your stomach. And the most terrible feeling comes over you. No, says our volition. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. I'm not even gonna say no. Our volition can shut up. And I'm gonna shout. Oh my god, it's mine! I drove my car into the sea! I'm afraid yes. It looks like you drove your police motor carriage into the sea after you jumped across the canal. I forget what I said I was going to make my character be. I, I remember at least the, in, on the moral uh, moral compass. I, I know where my character is going. Um, but not so much as in a character. I thought I was going to... I thought I said I'm going to go for self-pity. Um, the problem with self-pity is that it is very closely related to self-destructiveness. Um... And it's a line that's very difficult to walk, if you even walk the line, can uh, want to walk the line, because you can just, you know, take the two together. Um, 
So this line over here, which is the first one that I read, uh, I can, you know, as I glanced at this, I haven't read them all yet. I can still fix this. I'm not going to say that. I don't want to fix it. I think it's... I think it's... In, I mean, I, I. it's not that I don't want to fix it. I, Colonel RPG, don't want to fix it. Uh, I don't wish any ill uh, uh, on my character. At least, like, he's an amnesiac. He, it's very difficult to ish, uh, wish ill on an amnesi amnesiac. Um, but unless they have done things after having amnesia. But, um... But it's just that I feel that is a that is a good story to tell. To have a character who doesn't want to fix it. Not, I mean, yeah. It, I, that probably tells something about me, doesn't it? It's pretty hard to conceal yourself when you come to, to uh, decisions like this. Anyway. Let's see. Maybe I was in pursuit of someone. How do we get it out? I can still fix it. They're not gonna take me back after this, are they? The badge, the gun, and now this. That's more anger. That line that line right there is more anger. This one is a little bit more towards the self-pity self uh, thing. Uh, things were going so well, we were just whistling merrily. Oh, that's more. That's the self-pity right there. I'm gonna take a lot of moral damage, I think, or morale. You can still whistle, says Kim. I love it so much! God damn it, Kim! Oh, god damn it. Oh, Kim, freaking hell. God damn it. <laughs> That's so, oh my god. Oh my god. Why did he say that? That's that's even better than the other one. God damn it. Stop it. Stop it, Kim. Don't be awesome. And he's smiling. God damn it. You can still whistle, the lieutenant says with a smile. Besides, the night is always darkest before the dawn. At least we have a pretty good suspect. If, 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 if we found your motor carriage in the sea, maybe we'll find her too. Uh, find her too? Oh, you mean, uh, Ruby. Or Lucy? Ruby, I think. Something about his notion gives you strength, says our volition. Makes you realize this isn't the end of the road. Yeah, yeah, it's, the, it's, it, yeah, yeah. I don't want to deconstruct that one over there. Uh, I'll let you interpret or have your own opinion regarding that line. So totally fine. But it is not an option. That one wasn't an option. That is just a way of saying. They're not going to take me back after this, are they? I'm going to ask. People are more valuable than machines. He's trying to cheer you up now. He's been trying to cheer me up since the beginning, but still. Training a police officer is even more costly. The badge, the gun, now this... The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and doesn't say anything. There's also a fourth thing you've lost. A fourth thing? Yeah, our memory, I guess? <laughs> More precious than the gun, the badge, and the motor carriage combined. Lost forever into the deepest of seas. What is that? What is that? That's not the memory. The memory isn't lost forever. Holy crap, there's there's a That's a check. There's something else. That's and that contextualizes the longing, I think, maybe. And the loneliness, maybe. How do we get it out? Detective, he says almost gently. We don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. So it's just gonna be there like that? I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. He looks around. Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable, but overall this machine is a write-off. 
Well, at least I can see what's in there now. Yes. Let's go take a look. Go to your inventory and interact with the item by clicking on interact tab and then interact. I got an agent. I got something. Um, set a track. There's a bunch of things now that uh, I've unlocked because of that. No, no. What? I didn't level up yet. Hiccup. What, are you, what did I get? What? Why did the game tell me to interact? It didn't. It, there's no interacting. Well, at least at least there's thing there's things in here. Banged up fuel canister. Okay. Well, that's something. A dented stainless steel canister for transporting and storing heavy fuel oil. A logo on its side has been partially stripped over years of use. The government issued red dyed fuel oil inside. Looks like paint, though it smells much, much worse. It looks like paint. That's weird. And also it smells worse. Yeah, fuel does smell worse, especially... The, the cruder it is, the, the, the worse it smells. Um, Lieutenant... 2JFR Dubois. And we have a, a commander's jacket. We have clothes now for our esprit de corps. That adds to shivers. Oh, I look dapper. And visual calculus as well. Huh. Oh, I probably want to see what it is. A black uniform jacket with RCM's signature white red, uh, rectangle on its right sleeve and backside. Letters inside the color read LTN 2JFR. The jacket is exceptional, is of exceptional quality other than some minor wear and tear. And then we have, not that, we have this. Thick blue, oh that's us. Uh, that's a face. <laughs> that's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, this blue piece of acrylic covering a thin leaf of paper with uh, the officer's name and rank on it. Next to the writing you see a man stare back at you. A younger version of you, already disintegrating inside but still presentable on the outside. <laughs> not... We're talking about the person, not obviously the, the picture. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You! Some seaweed is stuck to the back. I found my badge! At least something good came out of all this. The lieutenant glances at the badge in your hands. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid of Revishol West. You see a photo, a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and in the lower right corner, your precinct. The man keeps uh, in the photo keeps winking at you with his green gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. But the badge is new, says our logic. You used an old photo for a new badge. Good choice, says our suggestion. A newer photo would look different. How old? Eight, maybe ten years? The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. I, I can't say I dislike either the sign burdens or the haircut, or rather, or the lack of them. Uh, although the ha the long hair, because I think uh, I think uh, Harry is supposed to have long hair at the back, and I don't like that style at all. It's just it, I don't like it. I've used it like that, and I didn't like it using it. I just did it because I'm, I'm a lazy bum. Um, and he's winking. Why? Why do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. Although we might be able to now attempt to remove the expression, even though we failed at it, because now we may have unlocked a new plus. The badge in your hands shines as you rotate it, catching the light. You see lines of information on it, and a shining watermark. The name is Arié Dubois. Arié. That's long for Harry. Long? That's how English does? I've never heard it like that. I've always hear it, uh, heard it that's short for Harry. Or it would be Harry would be short for Harry. Uh, so you are Harry, he thinks. Kim does. 
If Racht was half right, probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told you you're Harry Dubois didn't. Uh, who did, though? Wait, what kind of name is Arrier? It's a wartime name, revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times. Like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide. Or actually, that's the, Eng that's the English word, Harrier. Which does mean fighter, uh, I think. I remember looking it up to see what the Harrier fighter jet was supposed to be <laughs> named after. Because everything else is like Fulcrum and Lightning and Falcon and all that sort of stuff. And Harrier is just like, what? Why is it? What does that even mean? Uh, but I, it's been a long, many, many years since I, since I checked what that is. I think it just means like warrior and just like a fighter. Uh, and that's why it's, tall, it's, it's like that. Harrier Dubois it is then. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois, says Kim. He's not going to call you Harrier, <laughs> says our esprit de corps. He'll keep calling you officer. Yeah, he does that, doesn't he? When he's angry with you, and detective when he's not. You are telling me this? I didn't know. Uh, you should have told me this. I'm not smart enough to detect these things. The badge in your hands shines. Yes. Uh, rank is LTN to... J so I'm a lieutenant as well. Lieutenant double Yefretois. Yefretois? Yef Yefretois. Yef Yef what the freaking... What is that? The lieutenant is in a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I'm a lieutenant. And double the thing? The title of the thing is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, captain. The lieutenant explains. You have declined twice. Does your double yefre, yefre, yef, that's the thing. Declined? There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precinct's decomptage um, might be taken, or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. And sometimes, he continues, they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank, in your case, lieutenant. Heavy-duty case-solving machine, says our esprit de corps. Yeah, we're pretty good at that, aren't we? Although, um, yeah, we're good, pragmatically speaking. What's a decom decontage? Uh, actually, that sounds like... Uh, decontage sounds like... Um, discount. What? How would I understand that? Let's Before I read the what he says, actually. Um, pre precinct's discount might be taken. Yeah, that's weird in that context. Let's see. Decontage is the hierarchical system employed by the Revachol citizens militia. It's just a made-up word. It means counting down. Oh, no, it is It is what I thought. Yeah, counting down. Discount. Uh, counting down to twos. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. And then there are the patrol officers, then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. That's basically it, except for a few kinks. What kinks? Kinks like satellite officers and the additional Yefertua rank... In, uh, I already explained. The long and short of it is, says our authority, you're his superior. Uh, wait, satellite officers? You're given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. Uh, I wouldn't think so. So you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior? No, I've been putting up with, your, with you because... Despite an unconventional approach, you're doing good police work. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. He smiles encouragingly. And now we've even found your badge. He trusts you for now, says our empathy. Try not to spoil it. I've been trying that for a while. Um, I thought my rank was drunk. Yes, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past, and he pauses to examine you. This leads me to believe maybe your current situation is only temporary. I'm afraid there are no ex-alcoholics. And this is actually a true... Well, I say true, but... It's... I believe it is true, and as I'm not a, not an alcoholic, fortunately, myself. Um, and actually, I don't know anybody personally uh, who is. 
Uh, but it, it's this is a reference to once an alcoholic, always, always an alcoholic. Uh, but actually, I don't know if that's how it's said. That sounds a little bit tropey, actually. But the thing is, once you become an alcoholic, you can you can go dry, but it's still it's it's always uh, it's always part of uh, of yourself, and and that's why it's so complicated to even sometimes exist in normal society as a as a sober alcoholic. I say dry. I mean I probably should have said sober. Uh, but that is a reference to a, to a thing, uh, to a real thing. I, 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 I'm not equipped to talk about it in great detail or anything. People have been through worse and gotten back on their feet, Lieutenant Double F. Artois, he says with a reassuring little smile. Hmm. Serial Ravishol 126205 Jam 41. That's just the serial number. Eversol, Jamrock, Precinct 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. Yeah, we, we had this already, I think. The numbers are not there for good measure, says our logic. They are they have an administrative purpose, one that's unfortunately been erased from your memory, says our logic. Date of issue 7th of November, the 50th, or the 50, four months ago. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to uh, the rank of Lieutenant Double Fatwa. A new badge usually comes with a... Yeah, it's now 4, 8, 4 p.m. A new badge usually comes uh, with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well then. You're pretty sure you weren't doing well, considering at least I would guess the photo. But better? Probably yes. Uh, Rainland Empire says, A lot can happen in four months. Especially, oh, you can say that again. Uh, especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you. Of that you are sure. Didn't we get a memory already of snow somehow? Maybe more than one memory. I just didn't commit that to my memory. Uh, but I think we got some flashbacks of, of something with snow a couple of times. Our horrific necktie says, I remember that time. The tie around your neck feels tight suddenly. That was a good time. We had a good work drink ba work slash drink balance going. What happened, man? Pump it up. Hmm. Precinct 41. Yes. It's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says, 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor, a lot of asphalt, and the 41 is... He stops. What? It's a tough station to work in. We have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. Huh. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. Or is pretty court. Says, but then again... But then again... <laughs> I love it. The little details are incredible. Frickin' hell, this, the writing in this game, I tell you. A faint smile. It's a legendary district. And a hell of a station, too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Birdie... Wow, that's a name. Birdyayeva. Birdyayeva. Eh, it's not that difficult. I don't know what it would be. The... The, the language. And you, our authority says... It is, is it an honor to work with you? Don't ask him. Ask yourself. I'm not, I can't ask him. The badge in your hand, yeah. I'm gonna put the badge away. Hmm. And uh, set of tracks. Uh, it's got an exclamation mark, but we can't do anything with it because it's white. Uh, these are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Unless I am keep mix getting things mixed up. Nope, these are the ones that are freaking... I keep getting things mixed up. How is it that difficult for me? Um, and the Samaran Butter over here. I don't even remember that. What the heck? Samaran Butter? Oh, was it the... Um, why is it new? Do I have any new... Th I don't even have any new things. I thought I could... Oh, yeah, I, I did get to interact with that. Uh, that's how I got all my things. Might as well explore over here. So spend a bunch of time over there. Oh, we got a thing over here. Footprints in the snow. They lead away from the accident. It seems the walker was either very confused or drunk out of his mind. His mind. The underside of the boat has recently been tarred. Which is a thing you do to make the boats watertight. Although we can use other, other materials. I don't know who that is. Let's not go there right now. We have a grave. Or what looks like a grave, anyway. We have a lot of things, what do we have? Look at this. We have a boat over here. 
there's a boat tucked away underneath the tarpaulin cover. And we also have the end of the episode, because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Disco Elysium. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, or if you didn't, let me know. Tell me in the comments how you felt about that. Um, and uh, don't forget to leave a like, because that makes sure the next episode comes out sooner rather than later. Unless, of course, you're watching this in the future and the next episode is already out, uh, in which case you can click over here. Um, but uh, if not, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.